the score was really um, didn't really show the improvement of the football team. I would have to say because um, coming coming out of the uh, the first quarter, the second quarter, I thought we played some good football from a defensive standpoint of view. I thought we were going to go into halftime. Be honest with you, um, twenty one to seven. I felt really good. I mean, our kids played better than as more team football than I've ever seen them play, especially going up against the number three ranked team in the nation in our division. And those guys played, and I thought we were going to go in. Uh, again, I'll say 21-7, to but we had a block punt, and then we gave up field position, and they scored two quick touchdowns with two minutes to go before going in at halftime. And so that put them up 35-7, to but we were in there tussling with them. We, you know, we did. We were in there doing a much better job than I've ever seen our kids play. I mean, the challenge was there, and I thought they stepped up to the challenge, and that's why. And that score just didn't really show who we were. We came out in the second half. Uh, uh, they scored early, went up, and and then we shut them down all the fourth quarter. After they scored twice in the uh, uh, third quarter, uh, we were able to uh, then shut them down a little bit. I think they made some position changes as well. But yet and still, our kids, um, I think we played better team football than I've ever seen us play individual football. And the score, you know, 49 to 7, I know it looks like, uh, uh, but I left that game with a feeling that uh, we've come together. I left that game with a pretty good feeling sitting on that bus riding back home. It wasn't, it wasn't as though I didn't think we played. I thought we played some solid football, and I was really happy about that. And, uh, we took that into our meeting this morning. By no way do we look at it as a moral victory of anything of that nature, but we look at it as a step up to where we've been playing. I mean, it really was a elevation in our team, and I was really happy to see that. I think we can get something going from here. Um, it was a good, solid football game. They were a good football team, but we didn't back down an inch, and that, and that would made me happy about this team and this game here. And. I think we're gonna. I think you're gonna see a real big change turn around from here on out. Kirk, before you talk about the X's and O's, was that a money game for you as well against uh, Jacksonville yes State? Yes, it was. Um, you know, they brought us down there. They paid us a guarantee to come, mm -hmm. and um, you know, and you know, I've been there before. Mm -hmm. I won there before in their stadium, and and I thought, you know, I had a good feeling about going in, mm -hmm. and um, and then I was proud of the. I was proud of where our defensive kids played. I was proud of where our offensive played early, but we just didn't, we sputtered, we kept sputtering, we hurt ourselves, and somebody took a turn to make a mistake from the offense, so defense, you know, got on the field and had to play. Um, as far as Ruben, our, the freshman quarterback, I think it's a wake-up call for him, um, you know, to have to give him a start against the number three team in the country was, you know, was a handful, but, you know, um, you know, he, I think he's got the experience that we need now to carry us through the rest of the season. And I'm not saying that the rest of our schedule is easy by no means. You know, with grammar and those teams coming in, but I think that we're on the right track right now. I, you know, we're you know we're stepping up, we're moving. The kids into playing faster. I mean, the concept is in now. Now it's all about keeping it polished and getting better at what we're doing. We're not going to change much. We're going to stay basically what we're doing because they've learned that system and let them go ahead and play through that system and play the best they can. And I think we're going to be fine. I really feel I hate this. I don't want to use the word happy, but um, inside I, I feel good. I feel good coming out of there. I feel, I feel that we accomplished something. I feel the kids are walking around with a little bit of air about them right now because they went up against a, a, a opponent that you know they saw going to overtime with Auburn, you know, and they stuck in there with them, you know, uh, and um, it's a shame those quick scores hit hit, hit like that because they really played football throughout the course of the game. Better football than i ever seen them play to date. You said defensively the guys looked better to you. Um, just go into detail about that, because I know previously you had said that the defense wasn't going in the direction that you really wanted. Well, they're, you know, they're moving in the right direction now. The linebackers are stepping up. You know, they're growing up now. When they see an opening, they'll come up and fill it. Well, we should sit back and look at that opening and wonder should we step up. You know, they're filling holes now. They're filling gaps. D linemen are getting off blocks and getting out of that, you know, things they're supposed to do. Things that you see other teams do that you envy. We're starting to do those same things, you see, and uh, it makes me happy. Yes, the secondary is still young. Yes, they're still getting back too far. Yes, they're missing critical tackles in the last moment or free safety is the last line of defense, but yet still 
he misses a tackle and is in for a touchdown when he misses and stuff like that. You know, we're still going through those things. A little bit more open field tackling back there. Piggy's got his first start. It was a, it was a tough first start for a guy that was a retro freshman, and then he's starting at free safety. Never played out there before first game. So it was a tough start. He missed some of the critical tackles, and, you know, back in that open field where they could have been stopped, but they did score. And so, um, you know, I, I, I just got a good feeling. I have a good feeling about what our offensive kids are thinking. All we're looking for is three yards. That's all I ask them for is three yards. Three yards of crack. And I'm not going to give them any more than what they can handle. Let's give me three. And if they can grind three, you know, they have that mentality to grind three yards. They'll get me five. They'll get me ten. That'll come. But I want to give them something they can attain. Just give me three yards every, every play. Just three. And, um, you know, uh, a young man, I talked with a guy last week, and he was telling me that approach, you know, and I like that approach, you know, and I think our offense is sold on that. Just give us three yards of crack. You know, anybody can give you three yards. You know, the, you know, and gut that, grind that out, and that'll turn into bigger plays. I want them to achieve something. I don't want them always have to achieve the bomb or achieve something, you know, with the long run. Just keep, you give me three, eventually it's going to turn into the long run, you know, and I – and I'm pleased about that. Coach, you obviously talked about the offense with, with being young. I mean, you have a young quarterback in there now. He's only had one one start now after this last past week. Um, you look at it, though, and it's the way it's coming along. I mean, what's the big thing that you want to see this week heading into this um, week? Too? I want to just put a little few more points on the board. Well, obviously. I mean, you know, I mean we've got to get on the board. You know, we got to – when they hit, we got to hit. When we start doing those type of things, I think we'll be where we want to be. You know, we got to be able to strike. You know, not just drive the ball or have a few good plays. Or we got to be able to strike when we want to strike, not when they want to strike or let us strike. You know, and I think that's when we got to. You know, when I did, I know our program is where we want it to be. When offense is in control, what we do make them move. You know what I mean? They're not uh, being able to pressure our quarterback any time they want to pressure more. You know, to keep us off balance, things of that nature. You know, we wouldn't want to keep the defense off balance, and we're not doing that right now. We're not keeping them off balance. You know, they're kind of taking it to us more than, you know, we're taking it to them. And that's where we got it. When we get start taking it to people, then I'll know that we have a football team. You know, last week I thought, you know, we, we uh, you know, we, we sent some people. We, we, we got aggressive. Uh, we, we played aggressive football from a defensive standpoint of view. We just let it hang out. You know, they play, you know, and, you know, and, Gap defense. The guys are playing good ball, and so. But offensively, we got to become the we, we got to become the Goliath. You know, we're not we're not Goliath right now. We got to become that. Who owns that park? Stokes has been your primary ball carrier this week. Saw a lot from Foster. Ten carries, fifty-seven yards. Is he going to be getting Foster, more playing? Yeah, Foster, um, good downhill runner. Um, we got a package for him to, to play in, and and he's and he's running that package for us. He did a great job. Did a lot of good things on his own. Um, you know, Stokes is our man. Stokes is our ball carrier. But now I was glad to see a guy like Foster get into the game and start picking up some mileage because he hadn't been picking up a lot of mileage for us. But this game here gets a good, solid football team. He ran hard. He ran over people. Now we need to keep that edge. We need to keep that edge. and We need to keep that mentality. we got to go into every ball game like these guys went into this game. I think they rose to the challenge. And they saw, well, wow, these guys were number one in the country. But we get a shot at them. You know, everybody got to be number one in the country and we got a shot at them, not just another game. It's got to be that thrill, that excitement, that power that come with that, you know, that come into a big ball game. And this game coming up, we got to ride out the Prairie View and play these guys out there. They're a good football team. They're ranked number 10 in the SWAC, you know, but getting still, they're beatable. You know, they're a good football. They got a good concept and they got both offense and defense. But... I believe that, you know, if we come in with the same, if we keep growing and come in with the same idea, the same thought of let's come out of here with that win, then we'll be fine. Has Thurston solidified that quarterback spot, or is that week to week? And if so, how no, will you use quarterback spot Peterson? has now been solidified. You know, Ruben is our quarterback. I pulled Ruben toward the end mm -hmm. only so he could sit back and look. You know, he was going against a good team. But, you know, they had uh, three All-Americans back there covering our receivers. I mean, that's tough when you got guys like that covering your receivers, coming Division One transfers coming down, and, you know, and they're locking onto your kids. And I'm not saying our kids, but, you know, our kids, that we, 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 we had trouble getting off the press. You know, they came down, they pressed our kids, they wanted to run with our kids. They were 
good secondary, you know, one of the best secondaries that we faced. And, and we know from now on we're probably going to get, start getting pressure. We're going to work this week to, to shake loose and, you know, so we can get our receivers alive. You know, they took a lot of our receivers out of the game and made it tough for our quarterback. So we pulled him out. I pulled him out around about the, I think, the fourth quarter just to let him sit back and see. But he is our quarterback at this moment. Coach, with the young team, though, I mean, when you talk with this offense, obviously it must be discouraging with, with the yardage. I know you talk about being able to pick up the, the three yards. I mean, that's, I, I love that uh, philosophy that you're talking about. But it's just trying to keep that young team, um, just keeping them positive. I mean, obviously. You know, that's what I'm saying. I, I even think uh, this game here, um, there's a positive, uh, um, I would say the word, aroma going around right now. You know, there's not a down aroma because I think they – we didn't win, but I think they saw, you know, some team play. You know, I think they saw what they could have got if they just did that, you see, against a good, solid football team, you know, that's ranked. And uh, and I think there's a good aroma right now starting to occur. There's, no, there's none of that syndrome coming back on the bus to where, man, it's over. You know what I'm saying? It's not That doesn't exist. Well, I would feel that coming from there. You know, you can feel that vibe. But these guys are are emotionally into this right now. They're starting to see, to oh, well, that works. You know what I'm saying? They gotta be sold. If you're not sold on it, then it won't work. But they're saying, well, mm -hmm, that does work. You know, if I hit that, you know, just a little bit better, if I could just get up on that guy a little bit more, I could sustain that block a little longer, we that get a touchdown. They could see it on film with their own eyes. And that means so much, you know, when they could actually see it. And, um, and now they just got to do it, you know, and I think, you know, I, you know, I, you know I'm not going to say one way or the other about where we're going, but I just know that I believe that we've turned a corner with this football team. What do you think is going to be the biggest challenge now? The biggest challenge now is getting a win. You know, that's the biggest challenge right now because they've done a lot of good things to, in order to get a win. It's that W got to come, come our way. But, you know, getting on that bus with a W is the biggest challenge right now. Can we go out there and score and not get frustrated or get, let the team frustrate us so we can't score? You know, you know, can we hold them off the board? Can we stop them from, uh, you know, when they, if, they, if they're up on us by 21-14 with two minutes to go, can we go into halftime that way and come back out 21-14 rather than bang, gone it. I mean, in two minutes, you know what I mean? The big plays. You know, can we eliminate those things? And that's the biggest challenge. So we got to go out there and work out there on that field. And we got to uh, set up our practice schedule to where we're going through those same concepts. Kind of, not just all fundamental, but those same concepts to get us where we got to be. And that's what we got to do. We, we, coaches got to, we got to design uh, the perfect practice now plan to go out there and hit on those things that we're not doing. When you are playing a game of catch up, how do you what do you tell your guys? How do you keep them calm and feel like you know just getting those three yards instead of like you said going for it all? Right. Well, you know they they're sold on that. They want to get the three. You know they know you know there's you know that's not that's in their minds right now. You know I heard them at halftime. You know you know let's get those three yards. You know what I mean? That's when we got in team prayer. You know I mean you know you know let us get you know let's be able to grind out three yards. You know with all your might. If you go all your might and try to get those three yards. Good things are going to happen, and uh, you know we look at that right now as you know our offensive model. You know we're going to go ahead and try to push those three yards out. And what sort of mistakes are being made? Well, you know we got a young, uh, we had a young Owens in there, and Owens jumped two or three times, which marched us back. You know it's this youth is being made, and one guy after another guy. When one guy makes a mistake, it hasn't all been in sync. You know it's him, or it's him, or it's him. You know what I'm saying? It's taking those turns. Once it gets in sync, we'll be fine. Jumping off sides, you know, being anxious, you know. It's the first time Owens ever played him. What a game to put him in. You know, a game like that with a, kid, a team like Jacksonville, what a game for him to start. But, you know, we had to start him. And uh, he didn't do bad, but he hurt us three times, you know, you know, jumping or flinching. A touch on Ruben's three interceptions that he had, what exactly did you see? Well, Ruben's not. Ruben's, got, I think, right now has become a uh, started coming to a target, trying to throw to one guy. You know, he's not spreading the ball around like he normally does, and that's what's good about Ruben. Ruben, 
was would, would give everybody, you know, some. But all of a sudden, once he got that start, he was kind of looking at one guy yeah. now. Like most quarterbacks start doing, they start getting a favorite guy they want to go to. And Ruben's got to come out of that and go back to winning football games. Ruben trying to throw touchdowns. You know, Ruben got to understand that back's wide open, take it, take what they give you. And we got to get Ruben back into that. Once we get Ruben back into that, but that's the type of quarterback, that's why Ruben is starting, because he took advantage of what you were giving him. Now that he got the start, of course, he went, you know, he's young, so he's looking to go deep and hurt strike and hurt you, and he got to come out of that and win football. He got to be part of us, not part of, not all group. Coach, when you say uh, three yards, many time people think that kind of takes uh, more of a run, run oriented team. Is that what you're saying? No, uh, okay. you know, if you, if, 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 you throw it, if you throw a 90 yard bomb, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But the only thing I'm asking you to do is get me three yards. Pass a run. Right. 